guys it's been a while please forgive me i feel like the only way you're gonna forgive me if we just start right away if you guys have been watching my youtube short or instagram reels or tiktok you would know that i have been customizing a beach ball there is two spots left so i thought it would be fun if i showed you guys how i did it it would be fun otherwise you wouldn't be watching i'll show the other sides really quickly or you could go watch the shorts I'm just gonna basically take you through how I do it because everyone's like, oh my god, how are you so smart? You're a genius. You're mega mind. That last one might be an insult. I need to blow this back up. I think I could do it in one breath. <sighs> I think that's pretty good. Okay, two breaths. Oh, I am so sorry for that. First thing I have to do is paint over these lines. If you guys do this, find a beach ball that doesn't have these lines, because this, this whole video is kind of all over the place. Paint. I like this one. Let me show you. I'm not the smartest, so I don't know how to explain it. Look at this crusty paintbrush that I left on here, okay? Mm. Flexible. Foldable? I don't know. You just gotta do this quick. I... Oh, whoa, 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 that could have been bad. Okay, while that is drying, I am going to decide what we are going to paint. Basically took, <laughs> this is insane. Okay, normally I would like outline whenever I can on something before I paint it. This one, it's just like a lot of work. I'm lazy. I will get a reference. I use the Pexel app, if you're wondering. Like this bridge here. We've done two water themes, so I'm probably not gonna do water again. Um, I've already done spring sky. I've done like a space sky, sunset. Maybe I could do like gray, cloudy gray, depressing day. Make it fall trees, hills and trees, and add some fall colors. This, this is what we're going for. Can you see the vision? What's fun about doing this is at the end, I can see how much I've changed it. Okay, the white still is not dry. Okay, I need to go put on my cape, robe, apron. Oh guys, it, it's getting serious now. Also get to use these water cups that I painted in that one of my last videos. You guys liked the ocean themed one the most. Now that there is water in here, it kind of makes no sense. You can see water in the sky, but not where the water is. You guys okay if this blocks my face the whole video? One second. Um, like I said, it's been a while. I forgot. People always get mad at me when I pour my paint out like this, but I think it's fun. Why are you mad? This is what it looks like after two coats. <sighs> and now we just sit here and wait. So, uh, how are you liking the video so far? Okay, it is not fully dry, but I am bored. So, let's make the color of this sky. Okay, gray sky, we're gonna need some white. Just a little bit of gray. Specifically, three and a half drops. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I don't... I'm just gonna mix the gray and see what it looks like, and I'll try to fix it if it looks bad. Okay, yes. I think this is good. No. I'm gonna add a little bit of light blue. I'm just showing you how red my hands are to prove that I'm not weak. Off whatever paint is sealing this lid shut. We're just gonna have to make light blue and then mix that into the light gray. Perfect. Get some extra white. Oh, okay, now what? Uh, yeah. Why am I naturally so talented? I have to be real careful along the edge here. I saw someone say once when you paint a sky, the bottom should be lighter and the top should be darker. So I'm gonna add some white to the bottom. Darker on the top. This is fun. <gasps> I got it on the other side. I got it on the other side. There. Pretty happy with that. I'm trying to make the horizon line on each side kind of match up. I just dipped my finger in paint. <gasps> oh, now we have to wait for that to dry. Isn't painting fun? Oh, 
Oh wait, now the sky kind of looks cloudy. I take everything back that I said earlier. This is perfect. I don't even think I'm gonna use the other one. Actually, why don't I give away the other one? Guys, if you want this old paint cup that I customized, just subscribe and then comment saying that you want it and then I'll just pick someone. You can have it. It is used though. Let me know. Now I got a brush that looks like this. I don't know what it's called. I call it my cloud brush. It's just so good at making clouds. Honestly, from far away. Again, who cares about clouds? Clouds are so random, you guys. Sometimes they look like dinosaurs. You see that? This is why it looks so good. I also saw somewhere clouds should be smaller at the bottom, bigger at the top to make it look like it's farther away. I don't know. So do that. Okay, and that was the easy part. I have to get an even smaller brush here now. This part is gonna be fun because this is the hard part where I have to start mapping everything out where I want it to go. And if it doesn't go the way I want it, then the clouds will be all messed up and we just did all that for nothing. So, picturing a bridge here. Odd. Uh... Ah. I feel like I'm making it worse. I feel like I need to know when to stop and I can't stop. Hey guys, there is our bridge. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I just had to have a bridge. I just had to do it. I could have just done a fall forest. Does it look proportioned? Definitely not. Okay, I'm gonna go straighten out these lines and I'll be right back. Okay, I feel like I can work with this, I'm starting to block in more of the shapes and I feel like doing that is working. Still not perfect, but it's a painting. Okay, literally beach ball. I could pop this right now quite some time later, but I think I have this locked in. So but before I added the details, I am going to add the background, like the distant background, like those soft hills. This is gonna look insane right now. <laughs> Still some green. I feel like I should get some yellow. Okay, so I'm actually out of yellow, so we'll have to continue this tomorrow. Ugh, fun. <laughs> fun. Okay, so it's actually been a week, and it's been a week. Turns out nobody sells this paint, so I had to get it shipped online. Mixing in some dark brown because it's fall, so there will be some tree branches showing. There are a lot of trees going on. This is my official tutorial on how to paint trees. Now I'm getting the lighter, darker color. More trees. Okay, I feel like that's enough tree. Now to add the background of the leaves. A dark version of every color. Does this look like enough fall to you? I'm also gonna add some different colored trees into our background. The best part about painting things far away is that they can just be blobs. 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 The dark blobs look pretty good. <gasps> look how cool the sky looks in the water cup now. Now we're gonna do some lighter blobs to show definition in the further blobs. Basically, we want lighter and darker blobs in the background to give the background some 3D definition, but painting it as a blob so it's still not in focus. Does that make sense? I'm going to add the lighter leaves. I want to bring one orange tree a little bit closer. I'm going to make it appear to be in front of the bridge. Is our background actually done right now? Time to finally add some detail to this bridge. I'm really excited about it. For the bridge part, I'm gonna use this square-ish brush. I use brushes like this every time I have to paint bricks. I'm lazy and it's easier. The bricks don't have to be perfect because they're old bricks and old bricks look bad. And again, go crazy with the colors. Bricks are random. Now we just have to do that three more times. It will take probably an hour. Fun. And then all I have to do is teach you guys how I paint my water reflections. Just like this. You probably guessed it. Blobs. How does the bridge look, you guys? We're gonna do this really fast because this video is already really long and boring. Get your colors. We like an angled brush for this as well because we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Not sure how I feel about this. But see how just adding lines already makes it look like water? The only other tip I can give about water, the farther away you are, the breaks in the water should be smaller and closer together. And the closer you get, they should be bigger and more spread out. 
Okay, we're gonna start adding the reflection. You just reflect. Every few lines or so, you just gotta take a color. Line it up around where you think the reflection would be. It did it, I kinda did it here too. Closer it is, darker. Farther it is, more spread out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm patient. In the front, I'm basically just gonna throw a bunch of dark green to make dead grass. Another side done, you guys. Thank you so much for watching me make this fall. We still got one more spot left, so comment down there. What should the final spot be? This is turning into one of my favorite painting series that I've ever done, ever. And I'm already excited to paint the next side, because this is fun. Also, let me know which side your favorite is so far. Okay, bye.